Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me for another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Memento inks for watercoloring, heat embossing with the help of Versamark ink and ink blending. Now these are just a few of the ways that you can use your Memento inks. If you'll go check out the intro to Memento inks video, you'll see there are so many other fabulous things you can do with that. I'll be sure to have that video linked at the end of this one for you. Now here are a few of the products we're going to be using. I'm using several Memento inks, Pistachio, Olive Grove, Tangelo, Dandelion, Zeal Teal, Summer Sky, and Rosebud. We're also gonna use some Versamark ink, some clear emboss embossing powder, some watercolor paper or Bristol Smooth will work, watercolor brushes or aqua brush. I'm gonna use my craft mat just to make cleanup easy and to protect my work surface, anti-static tool and a heat gun, and of course, stamp positioning tool for repeat stamping. So you see here, I have my watercolor in my watercolor paper in my Misty. I've laid down anti-static powder, and this is a heavy watercolor paper, so it has a lot of texture. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the image several times first with my Versamark ink. And then once I feel like my image is completely stamped, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that with my Olive Grove ink. Then we're gonna go ahead and cover it with clear emboss embossing powder and heat set that. Now you need to come in with a preheated heat gun. You want this powder to start melting immediately when you take that heat to it. The less time that heat is on the paper, the less warping you're gonna have. You don't wanna shake your gun back and forth. I know it looks like that's what I'm doing here, but this is sped up, so I'm actually not doing that. You just want to chase that melting powder with your heat gun. You'll know it's done when it becomes shiny and dimensional. Once it's cool, take a rag and wipe off any of that anti excess anti-static powder left behind. So we're gonna repeat all of that again to stamp our butterfly. We're stamping on watercolor paper again, first with the Versamark ink, and then we went over with the Zeal Teal ink, covered it with our clear embossing powder, did a little bit of cleanup for any excess powder left behind, and then heat set it. So to watercolor our images, I've laid down ink directly onto my craft mat and I'm starting with the colors dandelion, pistachio, and olive grove. Now I'm gonna come in and add some clean water to each leaf and then start laying down some color. So I've come in and I've laid down a little bit of the uh, dandelion on the tips. I filled the, leaf, the rest of the leaves in with pistachio and then came in with the olive grove to add a little bit of shading to the very bottom of those leaves. It's nothing real complicated. This is a great way for you to start out with a watercolor effect. It's so easy to do this with these Memento inks. We're gonna do the same thing with our butterfly, only this time I've changed the colors up and I'm gonna use Rosebud, Tangelo, and Dandelion, but feel free to color yours however you want. You can see that this lays down beautifully and the inks blend together so amazingly. We're gonna let those dry. Once they're dry, we're gonna run those through our die cut machine. Now I'm using the Simon Says Beautiful Day stamp set and coordinating dies, but you can use whatever stamps, whatever dies you have available for this. So with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base, I'm going to go directly to the card base with some Summer Sky Memento ink. And I'm using a blender brush. Now, if you're comfortable using a sponge application, by all means, please do that. We're just starting in the center, laying down some of this summer sky and working our way out. We're lightening that ink as we move out towards the edges. We wanna fade it out as we move out towards those edges. Now off screen, I ran some white cardstock and a hexagon die through my die cut machine four times. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment using Versamark Onyx Black Ink on one of those hexagons. Then I'm gonna come in with my Summer Sky right around the edge of that and add some ink to that. I want it to blend into the background. 
we're going to go ahead and take the rest of those hexagons and our own point glue and stack them all together so we can create some dimension on the card with this. Go ahead and use your on point glue to center that onto the front of your card base. Then arrange your leaves and your butterflies, however you like, and use some small round foam adhesives along with your on point glue to adhere all of this to the front of your card. You're going to finish this off with a few sequins, or you could use enamel dots if you wanted to. But that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, please know how much I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And I hope you have an amazing day.